and welcome back to Tech Travel Geeks, where today we're going to unbox the Meizu M6S. The M6S is a device from Meizu which positions itself in the $150 smartphone category and arguably offers excellent value for money. Let's unbox it and see what you get for around about $100. $150. So it's a white cardboard box with the Meizu logo on it, M6S on the front, Meizu logo on the other side and some details of the retail packaging. Now it's a vertical slider like many other boxes in the same product category. There's some plastic at the top which we'll now attempt to remove. There we go, and that should just slide open now. And here we have it. So in the packaging, uh, the device itself has a very good sticker on the front of it, highlighting the key features and key specifications of it. So the Meizu M6S has a 5.7 inch full screen display of 1440 by 720 resolution, that's an 18 to 9 aspect ratio screen. It has a Samsung Exynos 7872 processor. That's a hexa-core, 6-core processor with two A73 cores at 2 GHz and four A53 cores at 1.6 GHz. That's a big little configuration if I've ever seen one. It has a front-facing selfie camera of 8 megapixels and a rear camera with 16 megapixels and a dual-tone flash. As far as memory and storage are concerned, uh, the memory is 3 gigabytes of RAM and the storage is either 32 or 64 gigabytes. I believe this particular model is 32. And it supports up to 128 gigabyte microSD cards. As well as that, you have a 3000 mAh battery, M-Touch, which is uh, Meizu's own interface for fingerprint scanning, M-Charge, which is fast charging, and FlyMe 6. So this should be updatable to FlyMe 7, as we saw announced in Wuzhen, China, recently. Interestingly, this is a very blue device with some very big sticker on it. We'll take that off. And it's a it's a deep deep uh, blue that we see on the on the device. It's very eye catching. It's a metallic sunblasted finish. Uh, it's and has antenna bands at the top and bottom curved to not be completely straight. But this is a very, very interesting device. So apart from the Meizu M6S it's itself, in the packaging you will have some documentation, which we'll be sure to read or not. Within that documentation we'll find booklets of information, but also the now classic FlyMe SIM ejector tool with a form to look like the logo of their FlyMe OS, which is very unique to, to Meizu. And then in the rest of the packaging, we'll see there's a micro USB cable, USB A to micro USB, which is used for charging the device. No USB Type C here, no surprise given the price of the device and then a power charger in this case it's a european unit it's a meizu branded power port but let's start by turning the meizu m6s on taking the wrapper off it and seeing what it looks like so meizu powered by android so at the bottom here you can see the micro USB port, the headphone port and the speaker port at the bottom. At the top just a microphone 
and here we're seeing the devices starting with FlyMe OS and on the side that's a power button and fingerprint scanner. It's a very interesting button that. But let's start off by selecting English as our language. I'm going to go with English United States. There's quite obviously no United Kingdom English because this device is not targeted at the market. Uh, we have to select more countries and regions here. Uh, this is, let's see, United Kingdom. And we agree to this information. I'll quickly connect to Wi-Fi to set this up. Good haptic feedback on the keyboard here on the Meizu M6S. So we should have connected to Wi-Fi now. It's suggesting we insert a SIN, but for the purpose of this video we won't. And it's now going to take us into the section where it goes and logs us into Google services. We'll just wait a moment whilst information is updated. So here we have all the Google privacy policy details which we accept. And we're connecting through Wi-Fi to Google services, set up as new device. I'm going to log in here. Okay, so we're going to register our fingerprint here on the side of the device. So here we have apps it's suggesting we install. I'm going to go with all of them apart from Xender, UC, UC Browser, Super 8. I'm going to go with Telegram, Google Translate, Skype. That should be enough. And there you have it. So we've finished the setup. It's FlyMe 6 on board on the device as it comes out of the box. But this should get the update to FlyMe 7 very quickly. We'll just have a look at the menu. About phone. So yes, this is Android version 7 with a security patch to November 1st as it comes out of the box. But I'm sure there's a There's an update available. So this is FlyMe 6. Oh, no updates for now. Interesting. I'll need to look into this. But FlyMe 6.3.1G for global is on the device as it's pre-installed. And as of the end of May 2018, there are no updates uh, as we search for them. So that's our unboxing of the Meizu M6X and we are looking forward to reviewing this very blue device with excellent value for money on paper for tech travel geeks. If you're enjoying this video and you've enjoyed any of our other ones please do subscribe to Tech Travel Geeks on YouTube and pop a like on this video. So that's all for me for now. Thanks for watching the Tech Travel Geeks unboxing of the Meizu M6S.